so here's the deal, sweetie pie. From here, all the way across to here, we want to leave that bare wood. So because we're gonna glue, that's where we're gonna glue the fingerboard onto, okay? So, so we have to mask it off with this. What's that? Just cut the, uh, the excess bits off and then just peel off the bits you don't need. We are going to mask off, there's some, a similar thing here. Drill the machine holes heads first. Yeah, you know what? We're going to drill for the machine heads first. We, we have to drill holes for these things, the machine heads. So, um, so I'm just kind of roughly figuring out the uh, the spacing of these machine heads. Where we're going to, where are they going to go? I have to get the spacing right. Otherwise, they otherwise they don't turn properly. So there. So that's pretty good for. And that should do it for that. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Maybe angle the pencil. Like that. This has to be positioned fairly carefully. I kind of have to eyeball it. Okay, let it rip. See, the first, the, when I did the Explorer, I had to really um, use the file a lot. Well, I'm going to suggest, um, try not to make it too thick, especially on the edges. You don't need paint in here. And, um, and we don't want to get too much paint into these. Well, don't worry about those. But anyway, no paint in there. outside. We've just cut one side, the taper on one side, but the other side we have to keep square because when, we, when we've cut the fret slots we, we want it to, we just want to have a nice square edge so that we can cut the fret slots and then and then we'll cut this, this excess bit off so we can make the taper there. If you look at the profile of the fret wire, it's, it's like a T and the, the sort of stem of the T is what fits into the fret slot. Now it looks like the actual depth, one and a half millimeters. So we're going to cut a two millimeter slot so, so, there's, so we're sure we have enough. And then, we have to look at these teeth. It seems that the teeth are the, de the same depth that we want for this slot. So we might not need any kind of depth gauge. The teeth might be enough. So, we'll do that. So these are the, the fret slots. We have to do the taper. We're going to trim that end off, that side off now, and that's it's going to look very similar to the previous <laughs> lengthwise cut. We need um, the wire cutters, a little hammer, a little block of hardwood, um, and the fret wire. First of all, cut the fret to length. Okay, so you want about you want about, you know, 10 millimeters on either side. This is going to take two people, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. <clears throat> now we're going to do this about a dozen more times. These bits that are sticking out the ends, we're going to file them down. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is cut uh, slots here to guide the string, to keep the strings in the right position. Um, 
Uh, so in order to, to get the, the string spacing, we can just take a rubbing off of the uh, strap there. Across. Good, so that gives us our string spacing. Then we can just transfer those marks to the end of this. We can use the pencil now to extend, and I'll just hold. I'll hold this in position while you, while you make them make the marks. The strings are of different thicknesses, right? So the thicker strings, you need a, a saw with a with a, a thicker um, blade, so it cuts a kerf that's a bit thicker. And then for the for the unwound strings that, that are skinnier, we we're going to use the Japanese saw. Um, so we so we've got these two different thicknesses of kerf. Sort of square and true and straight. Just sort of steady. Keep going. We're going to get some wood glue and, and paint it. Using a paintbrush, we'll apply it to the back and then apply wood glue here. Stick it in place, clamp it on. Gina will help me with the tailpiece too, so I'll, we'll do that after this is glued up. Okay, so... you got to get this right because you can't move it once it's in place. While this is drying, uh, you and I are going to make the tailpiece. Yes. Yeah.